Okay, so today we're gonna to do a version of chicken a la king. We're gonna do it with pasta. So a la king is basically it's a creamy sauce with uh, chicken and vegetables. I'm gonna put a little bit of bacon in it as well. I'm not gonna put sweet corn in my one. I'm gonna use uh, a sweet pepper. And you're gonna need pasta, chicken fillet, a couple of slices of bacon, some sort of mustard, I'm gonna use English, some uh, cream, an onion, some spring onions to garnish is optional. I'm gonna need some white wine, salt, pepper, butter and flour. So okay, so the first thing we're going to put on is the pasta. So we're going to boil some water, a little bit of a uh, vegetable oil in it, stops your pasta from sticking. A bit of salt. Now once that comes to boil, we'll add the pasta. Okay, so we're waiting for the water to boil for the pasta. We'll prep the vegetables. I've had these pre-washed, so I'm going to take the top, bottom off the pepper. Take my knife down, I guess. Just run the knife around, get rid of the core. Let's cut this in half. Put it in the batons. Turn it around and just dice it. Okay, so the peppers have been uh, diced. That's the sort of size there you want them. And again, just going to prep this onion the way I showed you before. Just top and tail it. Cut it in half. Just get rid of the skin. And again, just uh, take your knife down, put it in the nice thin slices there, turn it round, use your knuckle to guide your knife in nice fine dice. Okay, so onions are diced, water's boiled now for the pasta, just going to turn it down a little. Number five. Right, then that goes. And the last phase of prep is just the spring onion, so I'm take this elastic away. I'm going to cut from the bottom end of these because it's sweeter. So just as thin as you can. Now we're not going to use all these. Just those will be humble. Okay, so I'm just going to take the bacon, fold over itself the gap. I'm just going to slice it in the strips. Okay, so the bacon's just been shredded up like that. And the next thing is going to take a chicken fillet. I've trimmed the fat of this already. And I'm just going to butter flat out as we normally do. I'm just going to cut it five times that way. So turn it around this way. It's in a nice wee chunks. Okay, so with the chicken prepped, all the vegetables prepped, ready to go. Uh, you're going to have to have half a cup of chicken stock ready. So we'll just put a st stock cube in this wee mug here and boil the kettle. Okay, and we're going to turn this ring on here to number five one before the highest. I'm going to start off with a bit of uh, oil, give it a bit of oil. Uh, once this heats up, we'll add the chicken and bacon. Okay, so we're just going to put this mug here, going to half fill it with hot water. We'll get a chicken star cube in there. And just give that a wee stir, that that dissolve while we're doing this other step, so it'll be ready. Okay, so that's okay. the oil hot in the, in the pan here now, so we're going to add the chicken and bacon first. I'm just going to stir this till it's cooked and coloured. Uh, I'm going to add some black pepper. And we're not going to add salt at this stage because the bacon's quite salty and it's so almost seasoned it to taste at the end. So we're just going to uh, put this off so we'll come back when this is coloured. Okay, so the chicken's starting to cook, starting to colour. This is the stage we're going to add the onion. And just continue this until uh, the onions start to soften a bit. Okay, so the peppers are getting in now. I'm going to add a teaspoonful of mustard. People say uh, yuck mustard, but it gives it a totally different flavour when it's finished. So you don't taste it as mustard, it just gives it a really nice depth. And at this stage the pasta is ready, so I'm just going to strain it. Okay, so we're just going to continue cooking this until the peppers are softened. Okay, so everything's cooking up nice, that's the pepper starting to soften now as well. Uh, next stage we're going to add some white wine, so just a dash. Give that a wee stir. And we're going to add a tablespoonful of butter. Just 
Oh, what is that? This butter melt. Okay, so the butter started the melt. At this stage, we're going to add in a tablespoonful of uh, flour. I'm just going to stir this, make a nice paste. Uh, we're just going to cook this paste out for a Okay, so that's uh, we made our roux. It's cooked out now. Just give it a wee stir around there. So, we're going to add the chicken stock. Just going to combine this in with a spoon. You'll see this will start to combine, start to go a bit saucy. Once that's well combined then, we're going to add in half the cream. Just combine it again with a spoon, just taking all the paste off the side of the pan. Now we're going to swap to a whisk. And we'll just add in the other half of the cream. Give it a nice start. And we'll turn it down to number four and we'll cook this out for about five minutes. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it. That's it cooked up. Is your Alec King ready? Your sauce? Your chicken? Uh, pasta we'll have here. We'll have it in the colander. So just put the colander in the pot. I'm just going to refresh the pasta. Just going to boil the kettle and just put a wee bit of hot water. I'll bring it right back up the temperature again for you. You just take some of the pasta. Much as you want, really, and uh, just take some of the alakina. Put a wee bit of spring onion for garnish. There we go. That's it.